Hello everyone, welcome back to the Film Insight channel. In today's video, we're going to be discussing some of the chefs on Hell's Kitchen that fans loved. So, sit back, relax, and without further ado, let's get straight into the content, guys. First up is Millie Medley. Millie. Millie. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> and you're from where? That's Philly. <laughs> Millie from Philly. Yes, sir. Yeah. Millie Medley was a part of seasons 14 and 17, ranking in fourth place both times. Hailing from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Medley was an executive chef. He showed great potential in both seasons and even received praises from Chef Ramsay for his determination. In both seasons during the signature dish challenge, Medley left a great impression on Chef Ramsay with the following dishes. It's good. Three. Good job. The pork is incredible. Four out of five. Thank you, Good job. Medley even showed great collaborative, leadership, and communication skills. Though he was a little short-tempered, Medley still shined bright. Focus when I'm you keep asking it. the same questions. Over and over, Uncle Randy. Who you are, where you've been, where you're from. I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just pointing out that. It doesn't matter. He was the first one to serve as Chef Ramsay's sous chef during the dinner service. From the very beginning, he was a strong leader in the kitchen. However, when he took over the fish station, Medley began to struggle. I'm getting frustrated, but I can't make no excuses right now. I just gotta keep going, keep... Witnessing this, Chef Ramsay decided on doing this. Is that good enough? No, Chef. No, Chef. My big question is, can we get this back together? Yes, yes Chef! Let's go! Yes, chef. Even with all that pep talking, he struggled deeply. Really? Chef, come on, come on, come on, come on. I just want two stunning portions of scallops. Okay? Medley was thankfully not nominated by his teammates for elimination. However, he was called down by Chef Ramsay and this happened. The thing that goes on in the kitchen and my team know that I'll die on the line for them, so that's why they'll die on the line for me. Where's that passion when you get in the week? Where is that fight where you turn things around? I kept fighting back and I never stopped cooking. I just needed a little help and I thank my team tonight, you know, for coming over there to help me. The following day, Medley was eliminated from the competition and Chef Ramsay said, you have great hearts, great passion, and a great future in this industry. You should be proud of everything you've accomplished here. Ah, great job. Thank you. Medley's return to Hell's Kitchen was a welcome one. He did great in the 17th season, but he was making far more mistakes than the previous one. Despite that, Medley always pushed himself to improve. During the Cook For Your Life challenge in episode 7, he was nominated by Nick to showcase his skills and potential. Jeff Ramsey praised him for this by saying, Beautiful. Got the ratio of the pasta absolutely spot on. How long did you poach your oysters for? But Chef Ramsay also pointed out this. What's missing, Millie? I can't remember, Chef. How many oysters did I make? How many did you make? You made six. Oh, However, he was able to earn back his spot in Hell's Kitchen. Medley was nominated for elimination three times in season 17. It was the third nomination in episode 14 that sealed his fate. Before his exit, Chef Ramsay said, I'm so happy I gave you a second chance as an all-star. Your energy, the confidence, and what you've got going for you is extraordinary. Yes. Post Hell's Kitchen, Chef Ramsay commented, I'm going to do something I've never done before. I want you to come and spend a week with me. Yes, sir. In my three Michigan star establishments. Wow. Would you like to come? I will. I'll be there. And I can't wait to see you in London. Keep hold of that jacket. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you. Yo, I love y'all. Kill it, man. Though he couldn't win the title both times, he won Chef Ramsay's and our hearts. After his appearance, Medley went to work at the Playhouse 822. Later, he went on to work alongside his fellow contestant, Megan Hill, at Chef Ramsay's Pub and Grill at Caesars Atlantic City. After his second appearance, Medley returned to his position working at Chef Ramsay's Pub and Grill. In 2018, Millie Medley, along with former contestants Sterling Wright, Brett Hauser, and Barrett Bayer, joined Bistry 41's Alan Fisher in preparing a five course meal. Chef Fisher was impressed, and so were the customers. He said, beyond the food, which was obviously fantastic, our guests had a fabulous time interacting with the chefs. Their creativity and charisma spilled over from the kitchen into the dining room, and that helped create a memorable evening for everyone. Coming up next is Rochelle Bergman. <laughs> what is so funny? I don't know. <laughs> I think I laugh a little bit when I'm nervous. Rochelle Bergman made her debut in the 12th season of the show, where she ranked in fourth place. She has to be one of the most beloved contestants on Hell's Kitchen. 
Hailing from Riverside, California, Bergman was a catering chef. She came across as a passionate chef throughout her stay on the show. Not only was her passion for the culinary arts quite clear, but her positive attitude also shined through. Bergman sadly couldn't impress Chef Ramsay with her signature dish. It is um, a sauteed chicken. Um, it's something my mom made growing up, so it's something that stuck with me. So It's definitely stuck with me, but all in the wrong way. <laughs> but her determination and passion was later displayed during the dinner service. She had great collaborative skills, and whenever her teammates struggled, she was always there to help. In episode 1 during the dinner service, when Nicole Rutz was about to give up, she did this. It's our first time. Don't worry. I'm, got this. Done. I'm done with the f***ing scouts, man. I'm done. She even did this to Joy Parham Thomas when she became upset after failing to recite the order back. Uh, Joy, please calm down. Get it together. Relax. <laughs> Poor Bergman got sick in episode 3 and tried to give it her best, but failed. But in episode 5, she came back strong. Due to her leadership skills, the red team won the service. Bergman made many mistakes, but she always tried to learn from them and improve. She was even nice to her rival team on several occasions. In episode 10, when she saw Anton Testino in distress, she did this. Are you feeling okay? I'm just pissed. What are you mad about? I'm pissed because I kind of let the team down. Bergman was reassigned to the blue team after her second nomination in episode 11. Both of you are going to the blue team. Give me your jackets. She did great in the blue team as well. However, in episode 13, Bergman's performance was not up to par. Chef Ramsay criticized her by saying, I cannot believe that. That was my fault. I got a little bit crispy. Right. Can you pass me your glasses? No, <laughs> no, they're clean. Can you see that? Don't serve it. I didn't want to waste another one, so for presentation purposes, I, of course, it's going to oh, be so better. Oh, she's saving the burnt one. I'm sorry, chef. Due to this, she broke down, but Kashia Zolikoffer tried to lift her spirits by saying, I can't let it stress you out, but I feel the same way you feel. And this is something I really want to do, but it's hard. Yeah. Bergman bounced back and did amazing in the dinner service. The best thing about Bergman was that she was humble and always owned up to her wrongdoings. She never threw anyone under the bus. In episode 14, Bergman was praised by Chef Ramsay for this. Perfect. Okay. Absolutely perfect. Sauce, please. You've never worked in a professional kitchen on the line before you come here? Never, ever. You cook like you've been working in a kitchen for five years. Oh, thank you, Chef. <laughs> With several improvements and a strong determination, Bergman was able to climb up the ladder. One capellini, one salad! I need that risotto, chef, as soon as you can! However, her performance at the pass in episode 19 showed her lack of experience in a busy kitchen. As a result, Chef Ramsay did this. You're running Hell's Kitchen right now, and every two minutes she's giggling. Okay, so no one's gonna take you seriously, okay? I'm so nervous. I'm I know, no, but you're running a brigade now. Okay, so get a grip and stop giggling. I'm sorry, right, chef. Serious now. Let's go. Bergman was actually able to bounce back, but it wasn't enough, and she was eliminated that night. Before she left, Chef Ramsay said, I didn't mean to giggle. I'm sorry. <laughs> you made me giggle. Here's the thing. Never in the history of this competition have I seen someone that has been so energetic, and that energy can go far. Whatever you decide to do in this industry, Thank you, you so much. Oh, <laughs> now, without giggling, you give me your jacket. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> I knew you could do it. No, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Post Hell's Kitchen, Bergman went back to her old job as a catering chef. She also did a number of cookery demonstrations over the years. Bergman gave a small interview with The Sun where she shared her experience in Hell's Kitchen. When asked about what surprised her the most about being part of a reality show, Bergman said, Watching past seasons, I always thought, I could do this. It's not that difficult. But when you're in the moment and Chef Ramsay is there putting crazy pressure on you, that definitely made me realize, wow, it's actually a lot harder than it looks. Bergman was also asked if her background in catering and the restaurant industry gave her motivation to push on, and she said, yes and no. There was that motivation behind it where I wanted to prove myself as a chef. Definitely a hesitation, and in a couple of early episodes, I definitely looked nervous. We can't wish for anything but the best for this wonderful soul. And finally, we have Heather West. Chef. You burnt your hand badly tonight. While standing there in pain, you were delegating your section to your team. Heather West was the winner of season two. West was very enthusiastic, determined, hardworking, and a passionate chef. She showed great levels of collaborative leadership and communication skills. Hailing from Port Jefferson, New York, West was a sous chef. During the signature dish challenge, Chef Ramsay had pretty split feelings about her dish. Chocolate raspberry empanadas. Oh, it's very thick on the outside, so it's very hard to sort of digest. At least I can say that is the best thing I've tasted so far. 
Thank you, sir. But during the first dinner service, she showed great potential. There was a time when West was also named the best of the worst. Heather, for the first hour and a half, we couldn't get any food out. You swapped places with Polly, and then within 10 minutes, we started getting food. Heather, you're the best of the very worst. Go back to your dorm. Remember the time when Wes got injured during the second dinner service but still pushed on? She showed how passionate she was in the kitchen and that nothing could hold her back. Seeing her dedication, Chef Ramsay said this. You burnt your hand badly tonight. While standing there in pain, you were delegating your section to your team. Please check that fork, Ross. Maribel? I've never seen that in 21 years of cooking. Very impressive. Chef Ramsay definitely took notice of Wes's leadership skills. Ramsay did this to help the Blue Kitchen. Blue team! I'm giving you a leader, Heather, in the blue team, now. Despite Wes not being happy being in the blue kitchen, she was determined to help her new team, and because of her leadership skills, the blue team won their first service in episode four. Blue kitchen, you scored a 9.85. Congratulations, you're the winners. However, during the sixth dinner service in episode five, her performance went downhill. She failed on so many levels. Chef Ramsay was furious seeing her struggle and said this to her. Two, yeah, are cooking like donkeys. Come on, yes. donkey's kitchen. Should we change the logo? Wes admitted her mistakes post dinner service and in response, Chef Ramsay said this. I personally did not perform up to my potential at all, but I don't think that I should go home. Thanks for being so brutally honest. She quickly climbed back and improved herself day by day. She still made mistakes and was chewed by Chef Ramsay, but she always bounced back. In the final Black Jacket dinner service, Wes was doing very well at leading her team, but had trouble spotting some mistakes. Chef Ramsay lost his patience when she tried to argue and said this to her. That was a trick. Don't f***ing dare. Right now, argue. I want Chef. Wes quickly redeemed herself and reached the finals. With each passing day, her hunger to learn, determination, and passion drove her to become the winner. Chef Ramsay said, This, for a 25-year-old cook, is a phenomenon. This woman is going to be a big success. Post Hell's Kitchen, West appeared in live with Kelly in 2006. After her appearance on Hell's Kitchen, she left Terra Rosa at the Red Rock Resort following a year of working there. Unfortunately, West was only offered a senior chef position rather than an executive chef one after her win. She later became the head chef at Monterey Restaurant. Later, Wes became the head chef at Jellyfish Restaurant, Broadway Grill, and Schaefer's in Port Jefferson. Wes came back to Hell's Kitchen in Season 6 as the sous chef for the Red Team. In 2012, she appeared on Food Hound Tidbits. She appeared in Beat Bobby Flay in the episode Against All Odds, but lost in the second round. Wes gave a small interview with IGN where she shared and talked about her journey. One of the questions asked was about her personality being accurate in the show. To which she replied, sometimes yes and sometimes no. I think in the finale episode, you got to see more of my personality where I'm bubbly. I think that sometimes I come across as a little harsh and a little mean. Sometimes I'm like that in the kitchen, especially when I really want something that bad. Wes was also asked about Chef Ramsay's harsh nature and if he was the same off camera. She said, no, he's not. He's just a chef. A lot of chefs are just like that. He's actually really, really, really sweet and an overall wonderful man. With that, we've sadly come to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Who among these is your favorite? Let us know in the comment section down below. Don't forget to give us a like and share as well. Also, hit the subscribe button to never miss out on our updates. Thanks for watching, guys.